Hey, what's up, YouTube Fishing Fam? Today, I got a little bit, doing something a little bit different. It's been a grind out there the past couple days, and I haven't been able to catch a fish for nothing. So, we're gonna do something different. If you guys like this, we'll see. you'll see more of this on my channel, as well as my girl's channel. She is like chef extraordinaire, and she's gonna, you know, season up and cook and fry up this fish. But we're gonna do a uh, clean and cook. Now to catch, I did catch these previous when I went to Chesapeake Bay on one of my charters. Um, these have been just sitting in the freezer. We've been, you know, every weekend we go fry some up, cook some up. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna fillet this catfish right here. So we're gonna start off with filleting the catfish. For those of you who don't know how to do a catfish fillet, what you wanna do is you wanna come right, there's a bone right here and you want to come right behind this bone I'm and then to. and then you want to just cut right here right behind this bone there we go right behind the bone and then you're going to start right here the dorsal fin be careful with these dorsal fins these things are super sharp then it's going to go right down the back right down the back following the spine as close as you can and getting all of that meat just right down. All the way down and out the back. Just like that. Very simple, very easy. We're just gonna come down and cut the meat. Make sure we get as much of the meat as possible and go right up against the rib cage and just cut down. Right up against the rib cage and then we're just gonna cut down. And there we go, we got one filet. One filet, now let's get this other bad boy right here, do the same thing. First, let me start with the cut behind this bone. down the spine and do the same thing follow the rib cage all the way down cutting the meat off of it Yes, sharp knives work wonders. <laughs> this thing is so much easier than the last time I did this with a dull knife. It makes it so much easier. Two fillets, just like that. Didn't even have to, didn't even open the guts on the fish. Then you just dispose of this right here. Get rid of it. I'm gonna throw it in the trash. Well, just put it to the side for now. <laughs> and then what you wanna do is, if you have a sharp knife, what you can do is you can go right behind this, this uh, skin and then you can cut the skin off of the filet. Hold the skin down and just push down. I'm just pushing right up against the skin. Then I'll flip the filet over. Making sure that I'm not cutting the meat off of it. There we go. Skin removed just like that. 
and you got a nice clean fillet. There you go. <laughs> Two fillets, nice and cleaned up. Now catfish, they're a little gamey and slimy. The secret to getting the, um, the gaminess out of it, the sliminess out of it, is you soak it in some water with a little bit of vinegar. Can you throw some vinegar up in there? Mm -hmm. Just gonna add a little bit of vinegar and just let this soak while we season up and fry up the other stuff. All right, we back and now this is her part of the show. Um, her YouTube channel, I'm gonna link it below as well as put the description so you guys can go over there and follow her and check her out on your channel because she's gonna be starting a whole cooking channel and teaching you guys some recipes, how to cook. And we just happened to start off with the fish that I caught first. <laughs> so now it's on you. What do we do? First of all, this stuff was already uh, gutted and scaled and cleaned and everything. Um, and now we're gonna season it up, fry it up, and eat it up. All right, so your seasoning is gonna be pretty easy. I've already pretty much done it. It's gonna be about two. Yeah, you just be right there. It's gonna be about two teaspoons or tablespoons, depending on your taste buds of each thing. So we have it all lined up here. Your red crushed pepper, paprika, lemon pepper, whichever brand you prefer as well. We have the body ground pepper. I like this the best. Oh, that's better. Yeah. There you go. Just in case you missed it. <laughs> um, adobo. You don't really need that much of that. It already has a bunch of salt in it. So you don't have to do salt with your fish. You don't want to overpower it. You have your onion powder. The Badia a version of adobo. Not a lot of that one. That one has a lot of salt in it. And then your chili powder. All right, so I have that already in the bowl. So that's mix. how you got that mix right there? Yeah, that's okay. this mix right here. All right. Oh, can't forget. That's the power. That's the plug. <laughs> so we mix that. And then last but not least, about a cup of flour. Um, depends on how much fish you're going to be frying. I also like to use probably half a cup of, of these. Depends what your brand is. I like the lemon pepper better goes with the fish better. All right, so we're gonna mix these all together. See that there? Really, we're gonna just mix it together and put it in a bag so we can toss all the fish in it. If you like more flavor, seasoning, some people like their flour to be more brown, but I like lighter flavors lighter and spicier. All right, so we'll pour this into the bag. Which one do we I usually just eyeball it. I don't really measure it too much. Also, you have some left over if you want to refry something else later. Thank you. Okay, well, for these little fish, you don't want to do too much. You don't need that much flour. Just a little coke. Skin gets crispy by itself. I guess we'll just toss a couple at a time so it coats it evenly. Should maybe shake it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's good enough. <laughs> shake and bake. This ain't no shake and bake though. This some way better. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get a close up of that. <laughs> Don't leave me for that. By the time you done, it's gonna look like some goldfish. Now these is ready to go in the fryer right now. <laughs> right now though. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Let me turn this oil up. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait to eat this fish. I was fishing with my brother early today and of course, another skunk day. This fall fishing, man. Ooh, anything? Nothing, nada. But we're going out tomorrow. He's off of work. He goes out every day. So we're going to be out tomorrow and hopefully 
there's a new species on the channel tomorrow because I'm going to hunt a new species tomorrow. So hopefully we get one. I hope. If not, you guys won't see the episode. <laughs> <laughs> it never happened. <laughs> it got deleted. The file got corrupted. All right, so we just dumped out the water on the catfish. Now we're just gonna pat them. Just dry them up a little bit. Catfish, drop one filet in, drop the other filet in, and then we're gonna close it up. And shake them, give them a shake. Make sure you coat them real good. You want that catfish to fry nice and crispy. And into the bowl, there you go. So you hear that, that's the oil popping. Definitely ready to go. Which one you wanna do first? Oh, uh, we can do the catfish first. We can fry up my delicious catfish. A cheap filet so nicely. I don't want it to pop too much. It's going to taste like a minute for it to fry. While we wait, I drink. No, you don't. She can't drink because she... <laughs> no, you can't drink because I can't drink. She's <laughs> expecting. Oh, I'm just expecting. What? We are expecting. Yeah, we are expecting, but <laughs> she has the butt in the oven and I don't, so... I can drink. That would be crispy. Does it feel better to you that you caught it and we're cooking it? Mm-hmm. It's always better when you catch it yourself. Cheers, you guys. Fried hard. Definitely hard. I don't like no soggy fish. I don't like anything soggy. If it's fried, it better be nice and crispy. Nice and crispy. I was well wow, done everything. Wait. So you see, we got options. <laughs> Sriracha, Frank Red's hot, and some Tabasco pepper sauce. All right, I'm ready for the filet. Time for the perch. It's time for the perch later. It's time You're for the fired. perch later. Oh, oh, time for the perch later. Oh, oh. <laughs> fire, fire. <laughs> Probably do four at a time. Don't want to overcrowd your pan. Mm. And this is the best way right here to eat the fish. I know some people, they like to, to take their time and fillet. I'm not going to fillet these little guys. I'm not about to spend all that time. We frying them up whole. Eat it. I like whole fish. Off the bone. So with these things, about four minutes on each side. So um, three minutes on the catfish, about four minutes on the whole fish. You think, guys, should we taste it? Let's let's go ahead. We we already got the pictures that we needed. So <laughs> let's go ahead. It looks and taste really it. good. We're just gonna go savage with it. Yeah. All right. Ooh, it's still kind of hot. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let it cool off a little mm. bit. No, we not. You get first. It's hot. Now you wanna blow on it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, mm. it's hot, hot. No, it's good. I'm going to blow on it. That is some good Chesapeake Bay catfish right there. It don't get no better than that. Straight up. We're about to be over here. Snacking. Snacking. It's really hot. See? To me. Look, look at these guys. And look at that. Nice Steam is here. coming off of it. I don't know which one is which. I'm gonna go What's with. What's the guess? I'm gonna go with this one right here. Sriracha. Let's see. Oh, wait, she just tell me what it was. <laughs> mm hmm I love sriracha. What's underneath of it, Frank? Right? Mm hmm <laughs> If you guys can taste what I'm tasting That's right now. Really good. Just follow the recipe and do it. Try to tell you. Look, it's about to get battered and deep fried. Again. <laughs> Again, literally. 
I'm I'm real live serious about that. You could. We got wiser this time. Uh -huh. She decided to cut it with the scissors. I cut everything with the scissors. Catfish ain't even gonna make it to the dinner plate. Nope, he's not. This is a snack. A lot of people take this out now, or they could have took it out a minute ago. But like I said, I like my fish fried hard. See how quiet it gets? The fish is done. That's the spot, I can tell. This one? Yeah. It looks different? Yeah, the nose. You can tell by the way it's shaped. Here's your refried. Rebattered. Catfish. <laughs> Catfish deep fried twice. Twice is nice. Right into the frying pan. They've been resting over there. Another round going of delicious white perch from the Chesapeake Bay. Three more. And if you don't have one of these, get yourself a cast iron skillet. Like, everything. It does everything. It, this thing is so versatile. You literally can cook everything in it. Then you can throw it right in the oven and bake stuff in it. Right. Let me show you. Oh, I don't even see what hers. What? Where's the small one at? Over there. So let me tell you about this small one right here. She has me cook a big cookie every night that and the she whole eats thing's with for ice me. cream. One night we split it in half and she cried. It was because me. she didn't the get the cried. whole cookie. The baby cried. You see how big this pan is? <laughs> this is a rest this is a restaurant portion dessert that you share with three, four people and she cried because she couldn't eat the whole thing. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I cried with my heart. I meant it. I wanted the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I'm done. That is it right there. The gypsy special. Delicious. So if you want to see more episodes like this, if you like it, comment below, hit the subscribe button, tune in for some, for some more. <laughs> blah, blah. It's time to eat. Tune in for some more content, recipes, fish recipes, fried up fish, all types of ways. It's time to eat. You heard the boss lady. We about to go chow down. Peace. Peace. <laughs>